Hey up, welcome to Chessington World of Adventure. Today we're going to try out some of the new family rides, Sea Storm, Barrel Bailout and Trawler Trouble, as well as some of the old rides such as Tiger Rock and we'll have some re-rides on Tomb Blaster. I can get him to touch the ball. Right. So I think it will be more satisfying. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's as far as it'll go like that. Right. And I can fit in. I don't think it would work for me then. <laughs> So this, I've just had a ride on the sea storm. There is a lap bar restraint for that, uh, and it comes down three clicks. I managed to get it onto the third click uh, all the way. Actually, it hit the stop, uh, and I'm size 54 inch waist. Uh, but it was a little pushing into my belly a little bit, so I released it to the second click when when we actually locked it in place, and it was fine. So I had quite a bit of room to spare on that. So that was uh, out say it's plus size friendly that ride. If you're my size and shape, uh, what I did was I went into the vehicle and straddled the central bar what comes down. So for a plus size ride, I suggest you one person per vehicle. Um, and it came down to saying it pushed on my belly, but it does have three clicks, you have to go down. But as I say, I couldn't get it all the way down at 54 inches. Uh, so if you're around my size and shape, you should be able to get on this ride, no problem. I'm 51 inches, but I don't really have a lap, and there's no way that would have worked for me. Yeah, it depends where you carry all your weight. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm 54 inch waist, but my belly's quite squidgy as well. Uh, and, but I've got a bit of a waist so uh, you can push it down. Uh, if you're apple shape, no pear shape, if you're pear shape, you might really struggle with this ride. Uh, but just give it a go. Uh, if you come first thing in the morning, it should be fairly quiet and you should be able to find a quiet spot just to try it out. And you can try the, whether or not it clicks before the ride starts. And the ride operators are helpful, aren't they? Yeah, the ride yeah. operators will help you uh, and suggest whether or not you can get on this ride or not. for you to look at while you're in the queue line for Trawler Trouble. Oh, we're actually quite cute, wasn't it? So Louise and I have just had to go on Trawler Tug. Um, unfortunately, we had to do the walk of shame on this one. Uh, the lap bar wouldn't lock into place. Uh, it looks similar to Hevo uh, Alton Towers and uh, the, a similar ride at Legoland. But unfortunately, uh, the ride restraints seem a bit smaller on this ride compared to those two packs. We got close with a lap bar for me at 54 inch waist, uh, but it, it couldn't go down far enough for Louise. Uh, and even though she's on 51 inch waist. Barrel bailout will try that. So we're just going to have a look at barrel bailout, see if that's plus size friendly. Them water cannons fire quite far. Looks like you sit facing outwards on this. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any restraints. So it should be plus size friendly on this ride. But I'm going to go and check it out next. So I can say barrel bailout is plus size friendly. Uh, you will get a little bit wet depending on how many people are actually playing barrel bailout. So you fire water cannons and each other as you spin around. And you can also get people watching on the outside as well depending on how good your aim is. Uh, but the, as a plus size person there's no restraints and the doors to get into the ride vehicle are pretty wide as well uh, and you sit in the middle facing outwards and I had plenty of leg room, no restraints so 
unless you're in a family of five or six, then it might be a squeeze, but you're squeezing against your own family members. If you're a plus size couple or three or four of you, you'll easily fit into this. So this is definitely a plus size friendly ride at Chesterton World of Adventure. That was really good fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, it felt a bit mean actually aiming for kids, didn't they? But you yeah. know, they did enjoy it, didn't they? I got splashed a couple of times really well in yeah. the head. I didn't feel too bad because they also got me. Um, but it was dead easy to get in and out of the ride vehicle, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and I did like that there was no restraints. So from a plus size point of view, I think that accommodated a lot of different shapes and a lot of different sizes. So, yeah, yeah, I think pretty much everybody could get on this ride. Yeah, yeah, thumbs up from me, yeah. Quiet day today at Chessington, just a five minute wait for Tiger Rock. Well, we survived Tiger Rock. I didn't get too wet, sat on the back row. Uh, Louise sat on the front, I think she got a little bit wetter than me. Uh, but it wasn't too bad today, at least there's no one on the outside of the ride squirting us today, since it's quite a quiet day. It is a plus size ride, no ride restraints. You do need to be able to step down into the ride vehicle and then leave yourself back out. Although the ride operative did give us a hand to help us out of the ride vehicle. If you are, if you do use a ride access uh, pass or uh, disabled in a wheelchair, you do have to get out of your wheelchair and walk up 24 steps. Um, is it 12 up and 12 down? Yeah. 12 up and 12 down to get to the other side where you board the ride vehicle. Uh, so just bear that in mind if you do struggle and it's about a 20 metre walk. But over and out, you can manage 12, 13 steps up and a 12, 13 steps down and you can step into the ride vehicle and step out of the ride vehicle. I would say it's very accessible for most people and definitely if you're plus size, because the log plumes are designed for four people, two plus size people are well any problems. They're really wide as well compared to the Legoland and other places. So yeah, it's a great ride. Uh, you will get a little bit wet. I didn't get too wet. Sit on the back, that's a good tip. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. We'll do it again next time we come to Chessington. So one ride that we have done before is Tomb Raider here at Chessington World or Avenger. It is plus size, but what I would say is if you are a plus size couple, see if you can hear on the back row so there is a more space on the back row. So we're just going to take you through the queue line now. Just five minutes queue for Tomb Blaster today. Through the standard queue there is a number of steps up to the ride station, uh, but there is an accessible queue. You just go join the exit. Yeah. You get good views of crop drop from here. So on the standard queue line there's 18 steps up and obviously 18 steps back down to get to the queue line. The theming in the queue line is really good for Tomb Blaster. Take you through the queue line and I'll put some on ride footage as well. A few more steps to go. Down into the tombs. And we're, we're there. 
dark rides in the Merlin properties, if not the country. Uh, the actual animatronics and the set scenes uh, uh, amazing really, They're really good. I'm up there with Disney standard I would say. Uh, the ride vehicle worked, we, even the Trommel tunnel was working today. All the effects were working. Uh, maybe my gun won't work in as good as Louisa's if she beat me again like twice as much score as me but I, I'm blaming the gun <laughs> but yeah it is plus size we did ask for to, we did ask for a ride attendant if we could have the back row so the back row it's a row of three seats front row row two and being plus size couple it's easier if we can have a back row and we can like spread out onto that middle seat uh, just even our weight a bit but the lab ride came down no problem locked us in place uh, another plus size ride, uh, Chesterton World Adventure, probably one of our favourite dark rides of all in, in the UK. 